the players coming through the tunnel earlier. I don't think you can get this game started soon enough for them. Welcome to this Sunday afternoon edition of the NBA here on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thank you. Ke Clearly. David, thank you. While we get a break, let's now take a look at the October standings out east. You take a look at San Diego. A terrific position for them as they hold up that illustrious top spot, but it's a long season, as we all know. And, of course, Louisville down four spots from them. Well, right now for San Diego, uh, they've come through for their fans this season. All the optimism surrounding them, all the high hopes, all proved to be legit. Well, how about the momentum they have built to get off to this fantastic start? All positive vibes right now for this group. Now let's take a look at Louisville's opening lineup. Siakam is out there with DeAndre Ayton. Then there's Maxi. Then it's Porter. And it's Poole in at the two guard. And for San Diego, they've got Powell. Ben Simmons is out there with Richardson. And it's Durant. And it's Drummond in at the center position. Here's Hayton. That shot off. Good D by Drummond. Here's Richardson. Nice D from Porter. is it to Siakam over Drummond and he didn't get quite enough under that one and Simmons has got the ball here for San Diego yeah facing that hostile crowd they just found a way to kind of tune out the noise and focus on the game well the best way to silence a crowd is with your offensive game those fans got quiet in a hurry when the bucket started raining down hammer it home hammer it home baby <laughs> That is authority right there. It was. Wow. <laughs> awesome rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Pass to Durant. Into the lane. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Well, you respect the jump shooting, so you close tight, and Kevin Durant gets off on the dribble drive. Now, here's Maxi, guarded by Simmons. Now, here's Maxi, down low, Aiton, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And with Aiton, one area of his game that's always been elite, Doris, his work and rebound. Yeah, there's no question. As good as advertised, he is a double-double machine. And think about it. He is not even at his prime yet. And he can't get the first one. Aiton is a player who Greg occasionally shoots a three, but it's still a developing part of his game. Yeah, you know, not the best numbers from outside. Does it to keep teams honest, but it's a far fetch to say he can stretch a defense. And he's good on the second. I tell you, this guy already a double-double threat nightly, and DeAndre Ayton's ceiling is still high. Now, he's got to go ahead and reach those expectations by putting in the work. Simmons looking it over. And the pass to Drummond. And the layup fall. And he is just a mountain of a man at about 280 pounds. It takes a lot to get Drummond off his shot. Certainly a lot more than that. And it's Aiton missing. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. KD with the bucket. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Porter against Powell. 
pass to Maxi. Five to shoot. Can't hit that one. So San Diego will take it the other way. Yet another miss. Just one for five. Not exactly an ideal start. Yeah, and there it is again on a lot of their possessions this first half. They've established great inside position. First team foul. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for San Diego. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. And what passing we've seen from this group already, too. They could put up a big number in the assist column by the end of this one. Bielitsa, who checks in for Drummond. The free throw drops for Durant. And the great thing about Durant, he gives you a lot of everything. Yeah, it goes way beyond being versatile. This guy is a great shooter, an elite historical scorer. Rebounder, passer, shot blocker, one of the most complete Tony players Bradley. in the history of the game. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Outside Durant, back to Richardson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Maxi. And the former 40th pick Josh Doris back in 2015 out of shots. Tennessee. But you know, Josh Richardson has been a rotation player from the very start. He has, and a starter from his second season forward. Let's remember, in high school, he was a two-star recruit. Take a break. But somehow, break. with his work, he Two becomes shots. a quality NBA player that teams love having on their roster. That's good from Richardson. And Greg at 6'5 and 200 pounds. Not the most imposing frame for Josh Richardson, but he is a quality defender. Well, a lot of it is between the ears. I mean, the plus wingspan helps, but it's that competitive will that enables him to hold his own. Catching up on the changes for San Diego, P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Durant, and it's DeLon right in for Ben Simmons. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Fultz against Wright. And finished off by Fultz. Boy, there's big time athleticism in the body of Markel Fultz. Get up, young sir. Lee against Richardson. The shot, no good. Good D by Lee. Louisville trails by six. McDaniels passes to Fultz. And he drives in. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Well, this has to contribute to Markel Fultz's confidence. Showing right there he can get through the defense. Fultz against Wright. 143 left to play in the first quarter. Four on the clock. That's a two from Powell. Offensive rebound. He leaves it finds Richardson. San Diego with another miss. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Now, here's McDaniel. Tight defense on him. He can't get that one to fall. So San Diego will take it the other way. This game against Louisville here, it's their first meeting of the season. And as you would expect, they came out on top in last season's series against this club, but no reason to expect anything different this time around. You take nothing for granted. These teams are very familiar with one another, and we expect a close contest. McDaniels kicks to Williams. Fultz against Powell. Fultz, no good. San Diego leading by six. Up top, Powell. He's guarded by Williams. Now, Tucker. No points in the game yet for him. 
Powell, the pass to Bialitz. Right against Fultz. And it's McDaniels with the rebound. Here's Fultz. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's San Diego with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We'll return shortly. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. Hey, guys, what's your take on San Diego so far? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. I think across the board, a number of guys have done a great job guarding multiple positions. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court for Louisville, we've got DeAndre Ayton. McDaniels is out there with Williams. And there's Fultz, and it's Lee in at the two spot. Here's Fultz, and finished off Markel. by Fultz. Well, this is what's evolving over time, right? Markel Fultz running the pick and roll, such a precise play. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Pascal Siakam was the most improved player in 2019. He says, I love that I cannot be able to do something, but if I put in a lot of hours doing it, I can become good at it. The former 27th pick overall said, not to sound Balls arrogant, but I saw this coming. Guys, he bet on himself. He did. He was smart. He certainly put in the work. DA, thank you. San Diego with some changes. Drummond's checked in for Bialitza. Kevin Durant comes in for Norman Powell. And it's Ben Simmons in for Wright. A big group substitution here for Louisville. Siakam is checked in for McDaniel. Michael Porter comes in for Williams. Poole's checked in for Damian Lee. And Maxi subbed in for Markel Fultz. KD with the bucket. And Greg, some star big men had complained that they get hacked all game long. But they're not getting the foul calls these guards do on the perimeter. I'd have to agree, Kevin. I mean, and on a lot of those fouls, the guards get three foul foul free foul. free throws. So, PJ, suck in the league. First, want to take foul. a look at trying to balance things out. For Louisville, they've shot two free throws and they're one and two so far. At the line for one. Throw no good for Eaton. And for Louisville, they come off a good outing against Pittsburgh. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. Well, they knew exactly how to approach that defense. They shot a fantastic percentage because they got quality looks. And the shot goes in from Siakam. Well, Siakam pushing right through the contact. Go ahead, young sir. Simmons passes to KD. Over Maxi. It's rebounded by Poole. Louisville trails by six. And Doris, we've seen it. Jordan Poole growing as a player, but consistency needs to come to his game. That's exactly right, because Poole has shown flashes of being a solid basketball player. He can handle it. He can shoot it. It's really about smoothing out his game. Siakam's shot is off. San Diego, they've gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Noel passes to Durant, out to the right wing. Drummond trying to get himself free. It's good from long range. Noel's got the lead up to nine now for San Diego. Noel's gone two of three from the field. Siakam deciding where to go with it. They grab their own miss. And that one's good, Aiton. What a fantastic offensive rebounder. Aiton so good at using his physical advantages. Here's Simmons. 
He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. That one doesn't go. Ice D from Porter. Louisville trails by seven. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Axie passes to Siakam. Six to shoot. Now, here's Poole. Elbow shot. And that Jordan one off Poole. the back of the rim and in. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Outside, KD. To the middle. Tucker can't get it to go. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Siakam outside. Puts it up from 15. That one misses. So San Diego will take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Simmons inside. Siakam's there. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. Simmons got his first points of the game. And here's a guy who loves playing inside. Simmons can play some bully ball down low. So Louisville calls timeout. They're first. And one of the more versatile players in this league. Simmons gives you assists, rebounds, steals, and he continues to develop as a scorer. And San Diego will go with a different look here. Bialica, he's checked in for Drummond. Norman Powell comes in for P.J. Tucker. Richardson, he's checked in for Noel. And it's DeLon right in for Simmons. Two points, Marcel. that one goes. Fultz has got eight. That was big, because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. And of course, Greg, Simmons gets the majority of his points from the foul line down. Now, one man wrecking through like in transition. Girl. Excellent at driving the ball in the half court. And once he gets downhill, he is tough to stop. Williams up on top. Lee passes to Williams. Louisville passing it around. That is good. And the San Diego lead is cut to just five on the basket from Fultz. One of the keys as a perimeter player is always stay focused through contact. Markel Fultz makes that shot despite the physical contact. Here's KD again, San Diego. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Lee passes to Brantley. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Fultz. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Here's Wright. Here's the drive. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. What you appreciate about DeLon Wright is he knows his role, and he's willing to star in his role. And the other part about it is he's been committed to his own development. Shoot two. First free throw is good. And so Wright nails both of them. Fultz with the ball. His last outing, 16 points for him. Two on the clock. Misses at the rim. And so it's San Diego in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Tremendous start for Kevin Durant. 
He had 13 points and two assists. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. They're running the offense beautifully this one, working for good looks. Their confidence looks sky high. It's going to be hard for that defense to disrupt their flow. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? They wouldn't be in such a deep hole if they hadn't given up so many offensive rebounds. Getting out hungry, getting moved around, losing possessions. The one thing you can control is effort. For those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Powell is out there with Durant. Then it's Josh Richardson. Then there's Andre Drummond. And it's Simmons in at the point guard. And that's the group for Steve Nash as we begin the second half. Durant way outside. Drummond, and it's Drummond with the jam. Pursues the offensive glass with purpose. Drummond knows who he is, and, and boy, does he attack it. Back to Siakam. Watch the screen. True on the 14-footer. Now this guy continues to build his offensive skill set. Pascal Siakam with the mid-range jumper. Endorse, you can feel Andre Drummond's presence all over the floor. But it's really on the glass where he is truly at his most dominant. He is nearly unmatched in terms of his rebounding ability. This guy is a multi-time lead leader in that stat. He works so hard to secure possessions for his team. Takes the 13-footer, and it's Aiton missing. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Richards in the pass to Simmons. Porter against Powell. Back to Simmons. Five on the clock. Here's Truman. And too long on the shot. And it's Porter with the ball for Louisville. 11-point game. That game is the first and last of their homestead. And not just a score, but, but a distributor as well. Porter's court awareness is really impressive. Here's KD. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Ben Simmons. Simmons got four assists in the game. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, the number of female officials in the NBA has grown in recent years. Commissioner Adam Silver said, we've expanded our pipeline to greatly increase the pool of potential hires. And we've seen encouraging results. There's no reason why we shouldn't have more women as officials, coaches, and basketball executives in our league. Kevin? Thank you, D.A. Well, Mr. Siakam can elevate well above the rim. Nicely done. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Here's KD. Oh, and he jams it right over Pascal Siakam. Wow! Well, Kevin Durant with a little crafty creativity, KD at the rim. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Siakam kicks to Porter. Pass to Poole. A floater, Aiton trying to break free. Cool, no good. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Simmons on the wing. Guarded by Porter. And he gets it to go. Simmons got the lead up to 11 now for San Diego. And this is how Simmons puts up points. He challenges you close at the rim more often than not having the physical advantage. Timeout called Louisville. And 
and San Diego will go with a different look here. By Alitza, who's checked in for Andre Drummond. P.J. Tucker comes in for Kevin Durant. Noel, he's checked in for Josh Richardson. And it's right in for Simmons. And here's Bradley. The inside, guarded by Powell. Two minutes. From downtown, it's hauled in by San Diego. 151 left in the third quarter. Out of bounds, Louisville takes possession. The ball goes to Louisville. Let's take a moment to look at the 2K leaderboard and see last year's high scoring teams. I just loved how this team attacked their opponents. You could see their confidence grow as the year went on, and, and the points really started to pile up. Pass to Fultz. 132 left to play here in the third. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. Right now, Markel Fultz playing with a level of determination, grit, and perhaps most importantly, confidence. Here's Powell. No good off the back of the rim. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. To the right side. Fultz with the ball. Now right defender. Fultz, no good. And, and they continue to control the glass. And there's the pass to Powell. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Well, this guy very capable of capitalizing close to the rim. Norman Powell making an impact inside. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Fultz, no good. San Diego leading by 11. Powell inside. Guarded by Fultz. Powell, that's good. I'll tell you, I'd love to see someone take the contact head on. And Norman Powell welcoming the challenge. Fultz against Wright. We've got 22 Mark seconds Powell left Fultz. in the third. And Fultz gets it to go. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Oh. Tries again. And the rejection by Bradley. To the inside. Here's Williams, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And, and I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfectly. And so it's San Diego in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision making at every position. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. On the court for Louisville, Lee out there with Fultz. Then it's Michael Porter. Then there's McDaniels, and it's Bradley in at the five spot. The kick out to right. Pass to Noel. San Diego moving the ball around. And the rebound goes to Louisville. Porter's got four rebounds now tonight. He dishes it to Lee. Back to Porter. Here's Fultz. Rebounded by Tucker. San Diego leading by nine. Here's Noel. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got rebound number five here tonight. Oh, 
Fultz, the pass to Brent. Howard oh, down man. after the assist. Let him into the lane. Well, Markel Fultz continues to develop his floor awareness. Passes like that will create all kinds of chemistry. And San Diego calls Starting. time here. San Diego will go with a different look here. Andre Drummond's checked in for Bielitsa. Kevin Durant comes in for P.J. Tucker. Josh Richardson's checked in for Noel. And it's Ben Simmons in for DeLon Wright. A big group substitution here for Louisville. Andre Ayton's checked in for Tony Bradley. Pascal Siakam comes in for McDaniels. Poole's checked in for Damian Lee. And Maxie's subbed in for Fultz. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, during the last break, I heard Steve Nash talking to his team. He talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way. Engagement at both ends and making good decisions with the ball. Guys? Thank you, David. And so Simmons will bring it up for San Diego. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Now, here's Poole, guarded by Powell. Porter kicks to Poole. Shoots over Powell, and it's sent back by Drummond. Not letting that one fly. Drummond using his height and wingspan to deny the shooter. San Diego now working with a new shot clock. Here's Durant. Oh, and he misses the dunk. Louisville trails by 10. Passes it to Porter. Inside, Aiton, and Aiton throws it down. Well, Mr. Aiton decides, why just lay it up when you can finish with authority? It's Powell on the wing. Back to Simmons. To the paint. Porter with the steal. Pass to Poole. Good work defensively by Richardson. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. And Durant gets it to go. Well, Kevin Durant can just hurt you in so many different ways. He's almost unguardable when he's pulling that jump shot. Siakam up top. Guarded by KD. Now the pass to Ayton. Shot clock at six. And the foul on Josh, Josh Richardson. Richardson. That first, is his first, first foul, foul of the game. First team foul. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Pass to Porter. Just five on the clock. Louisville needs to get off a shot. And it's Aiton missing. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. So it's Richardson with the jam. And that pass first nature of Simmons. Outstanding at understanding when his teammates are open. Out left to the wing. Here's Siakam. Aiton trying to break free. Siakam misses. San Diego leading by 12. Durant feeling it out a bit. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Durant. Yeah, simply stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that possession. There's 138 left here in the fourth quarter. Passes to Poole. Porter. Second chance shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Yeah, just phenomenal at using that vertical on the offensive boards. Porter just gifted it coming up with second and third chance opportunities. Richardson the pass to Simmons. Takes it inside. A shot missing. Now Louisville takes it the other way. 
Howell with the steal. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for San Diego. Their hard work on the glass paid off. I tell you what, they're both excellent rebounding teams, and it was a tough battle underneath all game. And I think ultimately that earned the W. And ever win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look back and, and see this was just a monstrous performance for Kevin Durant. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. And it's a completely new group for San Diego. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Fultz. Six on the shot clock. Fader on the way. Bradley can't get it to go. They're in good position here to ride it out. Uh, certainly. If they just play smart, this game's over. The pass to Bialic. Let's it go with a three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Bialic has got the lead up to 13 now for San Diego. Folds the bounce pass. Back to Bradley. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. So San Diego wins it. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.